Open interest is an important metric when it comes to analyzing derivatives markets like futures and options. Though it has some similarities with volume, it refers to something entirely different. First, let's recap on what volume is. In markets, volume refers to the amount of assets or contracts that have been bought and sold in a given time frame. This is useful to gauge the level of interest for a particular market, where higher volume suggests more interest. However, volume takes into account every buy and sell in the market, regardless of whether positions are being opened or closed. This means we are only seeing how much of an asset is traded, but not whether participants are entering into new trades or exiting altogether. Open interest, on the other hand, is the number of open positions held by traders in derivatives markets. Unlike volume, which only tracks the amount traded in a market, open interest tracks active positions that are opened but have not been closed or exercised. That means open interest increases when traders open more new positions than closed, and vice versa. For example, let's imagine that the open interest of X coin is zero meaning there's no active positions for this market. Sam then enters a long position with the size of 10x coins. And so, the open interest now is 10x. And let's say that Barry is bearish on x and decides to short 5x. Now the open interest is 15x, because open interest counts the amount of open positions held by traders regardless of their bias. Fast forward to a day later, the price of x fell, and Sam decided to close half of his position to limit his loss. That means the open interest will decrease to 10x after Sam closes a 5x position. Barry decides to take profit, closing out his entire 5x short position, bringing the open interest down to 5x from Sam's remaining long position. It's worth noting that open interest is rarely used in isolation. More commonly, it's used by traders in conjunction with other metrics, such as price, to analyze market trends. When open interest increases during an uptrend, it could mean that new money is entering the market as more people open new positions. It could be a bullish signal if the open interest increase is the result of new long positions. However, if open interest decreases during an uptrend, it could mean a weakening trend and money leaving the market. When open interest increases during a downtrend, it suggests new money flowing into the market on the short side as more bearish traders bet on a continuing downtrend. It could also be a bearish signal when open interest decreases during a downtrend, as it suggests traders are being forced to liquidate their long positions. But remember that these are just general considerations when it comes to observing open interest, which itself is only one piece of the market puzzle. Drop a like if you've learned something new and subscribe for more.